Hello, Go27 here. Welcome back to Risk of Rain 2. It's been a while actually, it's been a few months since I've played this game, though it's only been about two days since I've uploaded a video because I uh, really couldn't be bothered to edit the video. Even though I didn't actually edit the video, I just sort of, well, I just, ed I just uploaded the videos really. Uh, but yeah, I haven't played this for a couple of months, though since the last recorded video I have played it a lot. I've unlocked four more characters as well as some other skills for each character. Um, some of these challenges are really hard so you can't really do these unless you're good at the game. I'm not that good. I'm a lot better than I was in the last videos but uh, for the commando I've unlocked the tactical slide which is like the roll but you can shoot while doing it. I think it's uh, a bit shorter than the tactical dive or you stick to the ground rather than going in the air or something like that, I don't know. There's got to be some sort of downside. Um, then we have the Huntress. Uh, she's um, She fires a bow and arrow in bursts of three usually. Or actually, she usually fires one but I unlocked uh, Flurry which fires three seeking arrows at a time in like bursts. And she blinks forward rather than rolls. Uh, then we have the this guy, which is like a mechanical sort of dude, and um, you choose two weapons to have, and you can switch between them. I don't know why you'd want them both being the same, but maybe there's some upside for that. Then we've got the engineer, who... Um, actually... Oh yeah, okay. The engineer, I haven't really played much of this guy, but he throws like mines and you can put a shield and turret up and stuff. Uh, so he's probably good, but I, I'm not very good with him at the moment. I haven't played much of him. And then the loader, this guy's like a melee guy. So he can like grapple onto people, swing at them. Uh, yeah, he's quite cool. He's a, quite a fun one to play as. Because um, we've done quite a bit of the commando anyway, because obviously we couldn't play the other characters because we didn't have them. Uh, what I'm going to do is maybe do a video on each of these. Uh, so first of all we did a Huntress who I've actually played quite a lot of because mainly because they, uh, the shots are homing so you don't have to aim as much. But she's also alright. She uh, Her other ability is a laser glaive. So it throws like a, a glaive that bounces between enemies. Does quite a lot of damage. It's quite good. Uh, an arrow rain which you jump up into the air and fire loads of arrows down in a target location so I keep the difficulty on rainstorm and I think I also unlock this artifact which makes it so that enemies spawn as elites which are like a stronger version of the enemies but I haven't really used that because I don't see the point at the moment I'm not good enough for that so anyway that's enough so let's just get in there So one thing you might notice if you've been keeping up with my videos, which I know for a fact you haven't, but it's fine, um, is that I'll be a lot faster in finding the, the teleporter. So what I can say is I can't see it at the moment. So this is the arrow rain. That's the glaive here. Probably nothing in... Oh, it did bounce with the, the guy at the back. So the... The enemy that these uh, like triangular target is over is the ones that the arrows are going to hit. Obviously, they I don't have to be looking at them when I fire them because they home in on the enemies. But because I've been playing a lot of this in my well, a lot of this off the recording, I feel as though I'm actually going to probably do slightly worse than I have been doing because obviously talking to the microphone is quite distracting. I can try and not talk much, but we'll see. Bundle of fireworks, that's not bad. Every time I use like a uh, use something, it will fire loads of rockets in the air, you can see them here, and if there's enemies nearby, they'll just go and blow them up basically. Just get some more gold and I can use this one more time. Nothing. It's fine. So the Shrine of Chance, you pay some money 
and then there's like probably about a 50% chance of it giving you an item. You can get up to two items and then it stops working. And every time you use it, the pro cost of using it goes up. So it becomes a point where it's not really worth your investment and you can just, you're better off just looking for a chest, honestly. I'll get up to the high ground and should be able to find where the teleporter is. Usually I'll get to the second level in about five minutes. Yeah, that's the glaive there. Just bounce between these skull guys and... Uh, oh, I forgot to look. It's over there, actually. These particles in the air, that means that the teleporter is there. So that is where we are going to go. Though we could do with some more items. Haven't really seen any chests. Probably missed some, but... Don't want that, probably. There we go, some chests up here. Rare item, nice. Move faster. It's okay. We got monster tooth, so there's some healing. Could do with some more offensive items. I say as I'm opening this uh, healing chest, but it's fine. We should be okay on the boss. Okay, we've got a frenzy, nice. We'll head over here. This is an offensive item, but can't afford it, of course. Oh. Then you can also tag locations as well, which I found out, so you could tag this shrine. It doesn't actually last forever, so um, it's more of a multiplayer sort of thing, but if you want to mark something temporarily then it's alright. Uh, what does this do anyways? Combat. Yeah. So I spawn some enemies, get us some more money. We are falling um, a bit behind on time here though, so I'm just going to call in the boss. Stone Titan. Shouldn't be too bad. We've got a rock we can hide behind if he fires his lasers. Let's enter a frenzy. Oh, yeah. So he fires a continuous beam as opposed to the the smaller titans um, who fire just one big burst. I might actually die here though. There's, yeah, there's quite a few enemies and... Oh! Yeah, that's killed me. Alright, well, we're just going to jump in quickly and get another one. I don't have much time to record, honestly. I've got about an hour. Uh, we'll try to get to the port. Oh, it's right over there, actually. Consider sparkles in the air. It's got to be there. I can hear a stone titan around. Uh, stone titan is in a golem, not the uh, boss. Right there. Can hit him from here. Now, I do like being able to blink three times. It uh, makes you more agile. So I managed to dodge that guy really easily. Easy. Okay. If you do go to the teleporter too soon, you do run with the risk of uh, the boss just being much stronger than you. And also because you don't have any items. If I get to about level 2, I might try do it. Get an early start onto the level 2. Especially because there's a big chest here. It might have something good in it. Can't quite afford it. There we go. Instantly kill low health elite monsters. Not really useful at the moment. Would be useful if we were using the uh, modifier that made all enemies elite, but we are not. Okay, there's a couple chests here. 
I don't know if they're in range of the teleporter, they might be, so... I will just want to open one more. We'll open this one, this one's more likely to have something useful, okay. Sets enemies on fire, so let's try beat this boss. Two minutes in. Might be hard, but... It's going okay. She hasn't really done much at the moment. Oh, okay. There's a lot of enemies around now, though. So this blue guy here, he's what you'd call an elite. And if you, it's hard to see, but on his health bar, there's sort of like a white line at the bottom. That's the mark set by the guillotine item that I just got, which means that he will die instantly once he gets into that zone. Oh. Let's try to get this boss down now. We don't want to get hit by any of those balls. Things are dying nicely. Oh, the boss is dead. Nice. Okay. Now we just need to wait for the teleporter to charge, and we're only three minutes in. Record time, if I must say so. Okay. That chest is just out of the area, so we can't get that. And the item from the boss is the Rose Buckler. We also got a Lunar Coin here. So we receive less damage while sprinting. I think I will go over to... Um, okay, move faster, that's nice. I will go over to this item booth over here, see what I can get. And there's a chest as well. Oh. While I have the money, I may as well try and get the items. Uh, okay. We'll go for the criticals. If I deal critical hits with this character, with these um, the three round bursts on it, do, it shoots out six arrows instead. The critical strikes are quite good. I'll try to look out for when that's happening. Let's go. Almost level four. Oh, there we go. Level four. Where are we going to go? The Abandoned Aqueduct. Okay, well, for now I think I'm going to call it there. I'll uh, continue with this level in the next video. I'll see you next time in episode 6.